Let's continue up. Ah, everything looks fine. Let's talk to everyone else about the cult. Simon and Emma, let's roll. Couple more questions, if that's okay. We also have to ask them about the previous things that we haven't started asking them about yet. Starting with this mint. Know what these are? No. They look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before, though. Not at all, no. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum? Uh, no, magic mint, same thing. Oh, yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've never tried it. Well, once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other drugs either. Well, nothing like that. Nothing hallucinogenic. Have you seen this before? Oh, is this the thing that James did? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. What do you know about all this? A third eye, I think they were called? I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I've heard about Liam's death, but... All I know about Three Eyes or whatever is, is on this flyer. So you hadn't heard about Third Eye? No, sorry. Knows James made the flyer. Doesn't know anything about the Third Eye. Hasn't seen the triangle symbol anywhere else. Has tried Sully a few times or tried other hallucinogenic drugs. Would that go in contradiction with the T? Doesn't work. Okay. Knows James made the flyer. Doesn't know anything about the third eye. Hasn't seen the triangle symbol anywhere else. Don't have the triangle symbol yet, so let's. I'll get back to you. Okay, you, Emma. that's it for now. Thank you. Before I start contradicting people, let's let's go to something obvious. Let's first go around and do the clues here. See if we get anything else out of these. You know what these are by any chance? No. Sorry. I I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She'd know. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah. Hallucinogenic drug. Ever tried it? No. No, I've never taken any illegal substances. Have you seen this? Yeah. It was all over college last year. James made it. Idiot. So you don't agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't agree with anything James says. He's absolutely crazy. He thinks that the government has been controlled by aliens and that we're all bugged. He's nuts. Wait. Saw a flower calls last year. There's something, 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 something. This is bugging my brain. I was nice, I'm okay, keep reading, okay, don't see Kate often. Let's talk about the college. It's nice to bike to get to work, fix the lock, wow, ball and assignments like barely drink spirits. Ah, there's something that's bugging me. Maybe it's something that James said, though, something that she didn't say, so I can't use it against her. I've seen the mask before, there's Rebecca. Kate wants to black all right over there, fair. Dallas had our assignment, only went to Atlas, has seen some of the before. James Creepy. The phrase she attended Atlas phrase does not fair. Phrase does not feel guilty. Let's see. This is a legislative drug. It's a little bit contradictory, but okay. Fire all college last year, doesn't believe anything James says. Well, I'll get back to you. Let's Thank you. Leave. Probably be back later. Okay. Return from the woods. Out we go. 
not seeing anything immediately. The last person to investigate with this stuff is good old Ryan, so... No, we're good. Gotta walk backwards, after all. Deeper into the woods. I don't think there's anything along the path. I'm just making sure that there isn't. Ryan! Though I still... I need to work hard to see if I can contradict people soon. It's gonna get harder as more evidence piles up. That's just the truth of it. Oh, there's somebody here, actually. It's that guy from earlier. Would you start a session? Do you mind? I'm terribly sorry. I'll leave you in peace. Anyway, he's a counselor. Anyways, try the lounge door. Let's do it. A few more questions, please. Do you know what this is? Looks like... Uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things, <laughs> growing things. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Salvia divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant, a legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. What do you know about this? Not much. So you've never seen this before? You don't know anything about Third Eye? Well, I don't remember seeing it now. You don't recognize any of the symbols on it? No, oh, sorry. Doesn't recognize any of the symbols, but that's obviously a lie because... That symbol's on it! Aha! Ryan, you've just told me all about the moon symbols on the mask, then you're claiming you don't know anything about the symbols on the flyer. It's all the same thing. Oh, actually, yes. Sorry, yes. Yes, I do remember that. So what did you know about Third Eye? Oh, not much, really. Never came into contact with them. That explanation was way too short. Ryan's definitely hiding something. So I'm not sure so let's see. Only knows what we heard about Third Eye. Third Eye never came to contact with Third Eye. It's not interested in drugs. No students ever brought drugs to Atlas. Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol in Atlas's premises. Doesn't keep any medicines on site. All right, we got a lot of evidence. We have to count. He's obviously hiding something more. So let's see if we can dig him a little bit. Last saw Kate at Atlas meeting last Friday. Kate was drunk, so we need to look for what contradicts here, so let's get looking. Let's roll. Kate was drunk at the meeting last Friday. First met Kate three months ago at Atlas. Said Kate enjoyed the course and appeared happy. Hasn't suspected she has any emotional problems. Has never seen the license before. Doesn't know if Kate had lost the license. Simon does ride a bike. I think Simon also drives, but is not sure. Hasn't tried Simon's homebrew. Bird and cage is a symbol used on the course. Has never bought a freedom necklace. Has seen students wearing the necklace. Alright. Knows about the window, but not how it got broken. Told Rebecca to tape over it to prevent injury. Mask made by a friend who died last year. Symbol in the mask represents the triple goddess. A symbol not used on the course. Doesn't know about the argument in the pub. Usually leaves for Atlas at 6 p.m. Starts preparations for Atlas at 6.30. Poster designed by agency was the first poster for Atlas. Name was picked randomly. Used to have a black mirror himself. 
used to read about black magic and satanic rituals, doesn't believe anything supernatural now. I heard about Liam's suicide, I met Liam in the pub, Liam seemed happy. Thinks the finger is a devil sign, doesn't know how the finger symbol could be used. Phrase about getting rid of guilt and self-doubt, Ryan invented the phrase. Uh, Ryan invented the phrase all at the village hall. Ryan has a background in psychology. These look like chopped tea bags. Doesn't know anything about plants. Just Rebecca would know. Has no interest in drugs. No student has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Doesn't allow, to allow drugs or alcohol to Atlas premises. Doesn't keep any medicine on sites. Only knows what he heard about Third Eye. Never came in contact with Third Eye. Do you guys think there's anything in there that is contradictory to each other? Suspicious. Somebody that we've talked to is contradicting themselves because there's nothing else that we need to do except find contradictions. And to be fair, I haven't looked at contradictions for every character, so yeah. I... But he, this guy is definitely hiding more than he's saying, obviously. God damn, Ryan. Let's look through here. Start from here. Okay, test is actually the emotional problems. Jeez, uh, I don't know. There's so many, so much to go through now. Bird in cage is a symbol used on the chorus. Has never brought freedom. I've seen students wearing the necklace. About the window, but not how it got broken. Told her back at the table for a different entry. Mask made by a friend who died last year. Symbol in the mask represents the triple goddess. Symbol not used on the chorus. Tricky. Everyone does seem like they're hiding things, but in this case, it seems like we can get a clue out of him, but I'm not sure if we have a good argument. Maybe we should uh, go around. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'll get back to him. But for now, I'm going to fast travel around a little bit. We might as well take the time to see if we can get any good evidence from anyone around. I have not tried contradicting. Contradict. Uh, ask you a couple contradicting things, anybody here, so let's see. Knows James made the flyer. Doesn't know anything about the third eye. Hasn't seen the triangle symbol anywhere else. So let's start from the top with Simon here. We we haven't actually gotten Simon to cough up much in terms of contradictions yet. Actually, you know, I'm actually gonna do something. When was the last no, time? Not this. Not this. Exit. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Something which I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna use the phone box. Teleport me to the phone box, Captain. All right, let's call the chief. Chief, Captain. Lost for ideas at the moment, to be honest, sir. Anything else happened? Not really. Did I mention the student in the woods? No. A rather obnoxious student carving a devil sign into a tree. <laughs> Turned out Atlas used the symbol. Simon Thompson explained it. It's to do with a the phrase they use on the course, the three freedoms. Ryan said he came up with it. The three what? The three freedoms. It's about getting rid of your past or something. <laughs> Sounds as daft as that stuff James Wilson was going on about. Have you found out any more about that? No, not really. Well, do a bit of research, find out what you can about this cult, who ran it, where they were based, find out what Ryan Rand knows about it particularly. Okay, Chief, I'll call later. Right up. So basically, dig Ryan, so that's not what I expected. Let's, I guess, teleport back over. Ah, 
right over there. So Ryan, I mean, we kind of, I kind of already knew this. Ryan's the one that we really need to dig about this. A few more questions, if you don't mind. I don't know what contradicts. There's so much to talk about. One knows what he heard about the third eye. Never came into contact with the third eye. Has no interest in drugs. No students ever brought drugs. And Atlas doesn't allow drugs or alcohol in the premises. Doesn't keep any medicines on site. Let's see. Leaves look like chopped tea bags. Doesn't know anything about plants. Just Rebecca would know. Phrase about getting rid of guilt and self doubt. Ryan invented the phrase. Ryan invented the wall based on Village Hall. Ryan has a background in psychology. Hmm. Thinks the fingers is a devil sign, doesn't know how the fingers look. I swear about Liam's suicide and made Liam's, but we know about these two things, but still though. I mean, maybe something about this. No. Let's see. Poster designed by HC was the first poster for Atlas. Atlas name picked randomly. Doesn't know anything about the arguments in the pub. Usually leaves for Atlas at 6 p.m. Usually prepares for Atlas at 6:30. Mask made by a friend who died last year. Similar mask represents that. Why is it about the friend last year and this? No. Only knows what we heard about Third Eye. But. Invented the phrase. No. Ugh, there's so much to go through, and I'm not sure what's con. There's not an obvious thing sticking out to me, thinking, oh, that's what stuck out to you. So let's see. Something about a cult, and we need to dig more about it. Girl. No interest in, drug, in drugs. No students ever brought drugs to Atlas. Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol on Atlas premises. Doesn't keep any medicine on site. These look like chopped tea bags. Doesn't know anything about plants. Just Rebecca would know. Now then. Phrase about getting rid of guilt and self doubt. Ryan invented the phrase. Phrase about all of the values at Village Hall. In contact with Third Eye. Yep, that was it. Ah. I realized that. According to the flyer, this Third Eye group was based at the Village Hall. Is that right? Was it? Ah, that's where you were based, wasn't it? Um, yeah. You said you invented the Atlas phrase "free to be free" while you were based at the Village Hall. So I did. So you must have come into contact with Third Eye at some point. You were using the same hall. Well. I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you, Inspector. Go on. You see, Third Eye, Third Eye is, or was, Atlas under a different name. Sorry. Atlas is Third Eye? In a new improved form, yes. And you ran Third Eye? With Dad, yes. So you must have known Liam. You didn't just meet him, did you? Yes, I knew him, Inspector, but don't get your hopes up. All of this has been thoroughly investigated and cleared up. You've been investigated about his death? They dropped the case. We didn't have anything to do with it. Well, when I say dropped the case, I mean a police investigation is one thing, but what the public thinks is another. They threatened to go public, and then James Bloody Wilson started distributing his flyers, and that was it. No choice. It was an end to it. You had to change the name. We'd already paid the family an out-of-court settlement. I thought that was an end. But then James, his cronies, they wouldn't leave it alone. So we had to close down, buy a new place, rebrand. So eventually, we reopened here. As Atlas? As Atlas. And it worked? Uh, up till now, yes. 
So you knew James Wilson too? We knew James, but he didn't know us as such. Oh, he was very quick to shoot us down, but he didn't do anything like actually coming to the course to see what he was about. So James wouldn't know that you were now running Atlas? Not unless he came to one of our courses. And how much of all that stuff was true? ECT machines, brainwashing. <laughs> I'm afraid that that exists only exclusively in the mind of Mr. Wilson. All we do is make better business people. We challenge their prejudices and presumptions. Why don't you come along and see for yourself? The course starts in 15 minutes. Excuse me, Inspector. Hello. I can't come back now. Well, you have my car at the moment. All right. All right. See you later. Uh, that was that. I, I have to go back. You can come and meet him if you like. Well, I might come and have a chat. Come with me. To be perfectly honest, Dad's a great businessman, but he lacks magic. He does, however, believe in the power of the individual, when taught by the right teacher, of course. Ryan! In here. Just coming. He's through here. Come. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Detective Inspector Jenks, I am investigating a death in the village. I believe you knew Kate Vine. Oh, I thought all this was dealt with, Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big mad. You do know. Father. You must forgive my son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So what do you want to know? Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? I'll go back to the centre. I have uh, one or two things to prepare. Um, call me if you need me, Dad. You may begin, Mr. Holmes, although I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as maybe, but we No, need... that's as is. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So, uh, far away. Okay. Thank you. He seems like a very angry well, man. Well, Paul certainly doesn't take any prisoners. It's obvious who's pulling the strings in this family. And I wonder what they got up to in their previous guise as third eye. Eight o'clock already. Let's ask about everything. Here we go. How well did you know, Kate? Hardly knew her at all. Um, met her a few times. But the cause is about all. So when was the last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. I just popped out of the course and, uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? Was she happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. He's lying. That or the other person's lying. Because I remember, I don't know who and what and the, and the specifics, but I think it was Emma, and she said she was having an argument with Kate at 7. Like, almost 100% sure that's what she said. But we'll get back to that. We're not going to call contradictions. Let's just hear out everything. Do you know if Kate had lost this? It's her driving license. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere? No. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. That was like the most straightforward question in this game the whole entire game. Do you know anything about his bike? No. Okay. Ever tried Simon's homebrew? 
Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Have you seen this before? It looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well, that's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. We were mentioning the gloves thing earlier, because he hasn't been wearing gloves, he's been touching all of his evidence. What do you know about this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use um, sometimes on the courts. Little bird in a cage flying away. Uh, freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, by any chance? <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for, a birthday present maybe for one of the students. Which student? I have no idea. What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. It looks like a monarch mask. What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfit is. Ryan goes there sometimes. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who took his life. Oh. Well, as far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, outgoing. You didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea. The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? I'm not sure, but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Oddly enough, the student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? 
we encourage people who put ideas first and moral anachronisms second. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Respect it? I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector, but that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarize our objectives. What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine, or do you mean the course's objective? On the course? The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs, all that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people? Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector. My house appears to be haunted. Do you mind closing the door? So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. Nothing about the closet opening there. What the fuck was that about? Anyways, next. Know what this is, by any chance? Well, I've no idea. Gardening isn't my kind of thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, I am. I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? Well, she isn't exactly housewife material. She likes to be in control, like Wyatt. Shame, isn't it, that I'm in control of both of them? Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a hallucinogenic plant. Legal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a drug. Taker, Inspector. I have no enthusiasm for voluntarily poisoning your brain. And you've never seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol on our course. We like to tell the students that success is the best drug. Whether you buy into that, of course, is another matter. What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Oh. These things happen. Was it your idea? The suicide? Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And third eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector, any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you?
So that's a lot to take in. However, though, is there a contradiction here? That is the question. The only thing is, the more evidence we get, the longer this list goes on. Only met Kate a few times. Last saw her at the meeting on Friday around 7 p.m. Possibly spoke to her. Kate was drunk. Doesn't know if Kate had lost her driving license. Didn't see it anywhere. So I can't be time to surrender on Friday. So he's at the meeting on Friday at 7 p.m. I feel like that contradicts language I know, but I'm not quite sure. Possibly spoke to her. Kate was drunk. Doesn't know anything about Simon's bike. Okay. Doesn't know about Simon's homebrew. Necklace looks familiar, but can't say for certain. Burn cage symbol used on a course. Buy a freedom necklace for a student, says the Empire for Kate. But that means, why would you know that? But yeah, he doesn't. Uh, this is a bit weird. No, nothing like that. That's not contradictory, it's just old man having good old. Okay. So, Bird and Kate's still used on the course. Bob free necklace for a student, insisting to buy it for Kate. Alright. Hasn't seen this mask before. Thanks, mask is from the Monarch costumes. Ryan uses the shop. Was in the pub last Friday. Didn't hear about the argument. Post designed by an agency last year. Business started last year. Knows the mirror is used for scrying. Never used a scrying mirror. No interest in scrying. Alice doesn't use scrying on its course. Say Liam was bright, confident, and outgoing. Knew Liam had personal problems. Was at Atlas the night Liam died. Didn't see Liam after the course. Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. This is Liam's bright, confident, outgoing. Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. Didn't see Liam after the course. Was Alice's the night Liam died? Knew Liam had personal problems. Finger symbol, student's idea. Alice encourages ideas of a morale or morality. Reluctantly abides by law. Phrase design summarize Alice's objectives. Course subjective to free students from their past. Students encouraged to free themselves from guilt. No place for guilt in business. Doesn't recognize the leaves. Gardening is not his thing. Rebecca would not. I well, wouldn't know about the leaves. Oh, well, you have their vamp. Hasn't heard of Selvia. Has no interest in taking drugs. Atlas doesn't. Talk, Atlas don't allow drugs or alcohol on the site. Well, I don't think that's it. I think that uh, Lena was drinking at the pub. But sure, we can try it. All right. Actually, no. You're actually correct. Yeah, uh -huh. you're right. So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, we did give him various warnings. Did try to stop him, but uh, didn't work. <laughs> but you let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. We're not the police. We can't enforce these rules. If they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the court. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you store any alcohol at Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Whether I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Okay. Has her Sylvia has no interest in taking drugs. Silas don't allow drugs and alcohol on the site, but they also don't give a fuck. Apparently, students do if they pay and do it discreetly. Third Eye is Paul's idea. Third Eye is very similar to Atlas. The news death was unavoidable. Hmm. What about. Related at all? No, I might 
just be looking too deep into this, but I'm gonna try it, Thanes. I bet it's no, there's no contradictory thing, but yeah. Notice they were both drinking the night that they died, though. I'll get back to him, but we have a contradiction new area to explore, probably, so let's go for the moment. What do you know about this? Uh, Be back later on, if that's okay. Oh, we can't explore the building else. I get the that. feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. You're probably right. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. Hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.